First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah Kodash, and the ones of those green millstone, while it is truth, and also to the Ophelet that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to spare the power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of the lesson is Watchman Report, Global Internet Outage and news. So I like to say shalom to all I listen and learn. Hope to swept you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So before we start the day lesson, I have a quick uh, news article here by APR Associated Press. And it reads, a global tech outage caused by software update disrupt air travel, healthcare and shipping. Let's get a little bit more. It says here, a global technology outage caused by a faulty software update grounded flights, knocked media outlets offline, and di disrupted hospitals, small business, business, and government office on Friday, highlighting the frigidity of a, a digitized world dependent on just a handful of providers. Let's get a little bit more. It says, the trouble with the update issued by, let's read this again, the trouble with the update issued by uh, cybersecurity firm uh, CrowdStrike affected customers running Microsoft Windows said it was not the result of hacking or a cyber attack according to CrowdStrike, which apologized and said a fix was on the way. It says it said business, business and governments experienced uh, hour-long disruptions and scrambled to deal with the fallout. So we see it right here. They're saying that this is not a cyber attack, but we're not ignorant of safe device. Could this have could this have been a what a test run or could this uh be the real thing? But we already knowing that they are uh, getting ready to reset everything. We know we're coming into a digital society, and also we know that we are right upon a great economic collapse. The end of the dollar is the end of America. So you know, not only the the airlines, not only the uh, the house pillars, the people of their job, you know, they couldn't clock in. Also the banks, people couldn't get money out of the bank. So, you know, a lot of things was going on, you know, dealing with your travel, your way of life. You know, a lot of things was, a lot of planes was, was grounded. You know, a lot of people had a lot of different delays. Also the, the stock market. So this is a global, a major global event. We seen it right before I had also no, a nine one one call. So we see it right here. So, you know, is that a man shall desire to go in the city shall not be able because you know, no communication and also, you know, cause of what they could call what martial law, these lockdowns. So a lot of things are coming into play. We know we are coming upon these times, you know, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble. We're coming upon this digital society, uh, this global reset, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we already know that, you know, uh, we, we pretty close to the, what the end of the dollar, the dollar is pretty much finished. So we seeing all these things us coming. And also, could this be a possible dog winner? So these things are constantly have major crisis, you know. So a lot of people was trying to figure out what was going on, you know, why was they was having a disruption? Just like once again, people woke up, could not clock in, could not get any money out of the bank. A lot of these grocery store computers were down. People could couldn't go even get anything to eat. So hey, we coming upon these times. We are constantly warning. A lot of people thinking that they're a good case. And these evils are constantly growing all around us. Also, with it affected the food, the water, uh, the water. Uh, also, uh, people for people getting their uh, medication because you know a lot of drug drug stores these uh where they get their prescription they was uh having problem with their computers so so this so we know right now that a lot of things are run by what ai artificial intelligence so we know that ai is getting ready to take over we already know that it's taking over a lot of these major jobs you know with robotics you know what i'm saying a lot of things are coming in the past also transhumanism so these things are coming left and right all around the world. You know, you know, said in what Australia, uh, what other, uh, what is the other place? I think London, um, right here in America, you know, different, 
I mean, pretty much all over. So, you know, this, this everything was in an uproar. So one thing about it, you know, a lot of people, you know, think they're in peace and security. When they say peace and security, then total destruction will come upon you. So that the men of the Lord will constantly warn you about these things, a uh, constant approach. You know, the Lord has set up watchmen. And one thing about it, you know, a lot of people are not aware, you know, that these things don't come suddenly upon them. You know, they're in for a rude awakening. So right now, people right now are constantly going on with their daily lives, you know, constantly going back and forth to work, you know, eating and drinking as of the days of Noah, as of the days of right now. So we see it right here. Let's read this once again. It says, uh, global tech outage caused by software update disrupt so air travel, healthcare, and shipping. So you see right there that shipping is dealing with these parts, dealing with this merchandise, you know, the flow, you know, you know, uh, getting uh, merchandise to the store, you know, water, food. Now also uh, gas, you know, so if something break out, you know, it's, you know, you might have to have some cash on hand or it's, and also some gas because one thing about, it, you know, any given day, these things can break down. So this was what's in the news today, you know, so every single day is something going down. So we, we already know ever since uh, this uh, assassination attempt on former uh, President Trump, we seeing like a domino effect. More things are happening. Also, Biden has came down with the C-19. Also, it's uh, uh, reports that he, uh, uh, a possibility that he will step down this weekend, but we're going to measure the time uh, diligently. So we're seeing right now, we got to be watching. We got to be circumspect. Redeem the times wisely because these days are constantly growing evil and evil you know and we seeing that oh, it's, it's coming upon us on every side so and also we know that 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 motb is fast approach you know that grain of rice you will not be able to buy or sell so right here you see how the world just pretty much what's called like uh the world was shut down you know just for a few hours you seeing that they're they they cause these things to happen all the out of chaos to bring for their enterprise which in fact is the new world order one world government one world currency the one world religion total control and one thing about it, to make you a petrol slave to give you that badge of servitude so you're seeing right now was this a test run or is this the real thing so one thing about it, i had a video a while back that said that it was start on a friday that the banks will all collapse will be bank runs will be rioting sedition among men civil unrest civil war a lot of things are coming you know protesting rioting you know and also you know a lot of people are getting ready to be what unalive in a great number we upon these times we're constantly warning you left and right even though that we are sounding like a broken record but these are the time that we're living in and the middle law is standing on their watch and we'll stand on fire for yahweh by Hashim Yahweh before we start today's video let's get a couple of quick precepts let's go here to isaiah chapter 55 start in isaiah chapter 55 We'll start up at verse 6 in the blue letter. And it reads, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So one thing about that, how do you uh, 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 seek the Lord while he is uh, is near? You know, how, how do you seek him? Through the voice of the Lord, through the, what the, the prophets, the one that's making these video pistols, the one that's in the highways and the byways, constantly sighing and crying, the one that you constantly scoffing and mocking, you know, saying that we're crazy. You know, they hate him that rebuke us at the gate, whether you were here or whether you will for for bear because we really don't give a damn because one thing about uh, this hey man the lord world is not going to return to him for and one thing about it he's is getting ready to make it good so let's read it in the nlt it said seek the lord while you can find him call on him now while he is near so one thing about it he's near right now you know what i'm saying you see these video pistol you know we see you know social media Pretty much everything is constantly uh, right now is, is is flowing right now. But one thing about it, we already know it, you know, is that any given day, you know, or like a normal day, you know, is that all hell will break loose. And one thing about it, we know that the famine of the world is fast approaching. And one thing about it is, you know, they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. The time is now to seek the Lord while he can be found, while he is near. Uh, let's see here. Uh, verse 7, it said, let the wicked uh, forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our uh, power, for he will abundantly pardon. So one thing about it, we see it right now. You know, it's time to uh, put off the mortal thought. It's time to get your house in order, gird up your lawns. And one thing about it, you know, walk accordingly. You know, wisdom and knowledge should be the state bit of the time. So let's read it in uh, 
in the uh, NLT verse 7. He said, let the wicked change their ways and banish the very thoughts of doing wrong. Let them turn to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. Yes, turn to our power, Yahweh, Baal our child, for he will forgive uh, generously. So one thing about it, so we know that we, we're here, man. The Lord is getting ready to bring forth judgment and also massive death and destruction. And one thing about it, and also the day of the Lord is fast approaching. Our salvation is very close at hand. So now let's go here to, uh, let's get another one. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. And verse 12, before we start today's video, let's go here. Please ask these chapter 9 and verse 12. And it reads, that, For a man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an even net, and as the birds that are caught in uh, the snares, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falls suddenly upon them. So their snare goes into a trap. So right now we already know we're coming upon that time. Was this a test run or was this the real deal? We already know that the stage is set. All things are ready. We know that right now they get ready to bring forth this chaos. You know, they could call martial law, martial law or some type of lockdown. We already know once uh, the dollar fair, we already know it's going to be total what? Chaos. They, they already know that they're going to call in this the military, the UN uh, troop, you know what I'm saying? We already know that it's going to be Egyptian. It gets, Egyptian, a lot of things are coming upon us. All of a sudden, a lot of people are not aware. A lot of people are constantly uh, sleeping. A lot of people are docile, you know, have a strong delusion, reprobates, good for nothing. And the Lord is getting ready to wake their asses up very soon. And one thing about it, only way the truth there is going to believe, they got to see it. You know what I'm saying? In order to believe it. But one thing about it, the Lord said, you know, blessed is he that believe, you know what I'm saying, and have not seen. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about it, that, that's blind faith. And one thing about it, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, you know, you're going to have to have blind faith. And also, you're going to have to have faith in work, faith in work, work hand in hand. And one thing about it, the Lord is only coming back for that, what, one third remnant. Uh, please ask these chapter 9 and verse 12 said, people can never predict, predict when hard times might come. Said like fish in a net or birds in a trap. People are caught by sudden tragedy. So that's what get ready to happen. Sudden tragedy, all sorts of uh, great mornings, great sorrow, great persecution, death and destruction. You know what I'm saying? Just like I said, cyber attacks, you know, rolling blackouts, um, food shortage, you know what I'm saying? Uh, starvation. You know what I'm saying? Also, we already know that this grain of rice is coming. We'll not be able to buy or sell. Man shall desire to go into another city. Martial law, these lockdowns, a lot of things coming in play. Great economic collapse, the end of the dollar. So we read upon that great crashing in the hill. We constantly warning you left and right. The sown place is getting ready to become unsown. So we've seen what happened today. You know, it was, uh, you know, uh, it was a, a major global event. These things going to constantly pick up. Nothing is going back the same. In the middle of the Lord, we're constantly warning you. Warning before destruction. So now, I start today's video. And after the video, we will start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. Breaking news. A massive global technical outage tied to CrowdStrike, which is a major cybersecurity provider, has knocked critical computer infrastructure offline all across the country and, in fact, all around the world. It's an issue with a software update. It's impacting lots and lots of Microsoft computer systems worldwide, from businesses to emergency services, 911, traffic lights, transit systems, and it's having a major impact on airlines as well. American, Delta, United, they're all keeping their flights grounded. You're looking at some live scenes from the airport. It is chaos again, 6 a.m. on the East Coast. And this is the scene now. They're having difficulty even printing any kind of boarding passes. This, of course, is a developing situation. The full scope of this problem remains to be seen. At this point, I don't see how people don't turn to God. There are so many people that is against God and think it's going to be well with them. Unfortunately, this is just the beginning of what's coming to the earth. This is just... The beginning of sorrows is what the Bible calls it. There's more that's going to hit the earth and we need God in order to be sustainable. It's time to turn to God. It's time to repent. It's time to get your life right with God. Do you not see the warning signs? 
you can't think that you can go against the God of this universe that rules over the universe and put your faith and trust in the things of this world when clearly things of this world is failing. You can't have your dependency on the system. The system is corrupt. The system will fail you. Everybody puts so much faith and trust in the system. The system is technology. That same system is going to implement that mark that the Bible was talking about. It didn't use the words technology. Clearly, it's all the same and it's the same force behind it that the Bible was talking about. I don't see how people don't see that. When you turn away from God, eventually he will turn you over to a strong delusion. Have you been turned over to a strong delusion? If you put your faith and trust in the system, you are turned over to a strong delusion because you cannot be sustained with the things of this earth. The Bible says that man cannot live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. We need God. He is the bread of life. All this other stuff is not sustainable. The food is not sustainable. The air we breathe is not sustainable. The things we do, all these things, it's not sustainable. We need God. God is the oxygen in our lungs. When you don't understand that, you think you can live life without God. It's time to turn to God. It's time to realize and recognize God is the only sustainable factor here. Everything else is going to fail and God is going to let it fail because he's building his kingdom. This is just the beginning, unfortunately, and the only ones who are going to be sustained is his people, the true believers. The global IT outage that occurred today, July 19th, 2024, was allegedly caused by a misconfigured update from Microsoft. The issue has been reported to originated from a change in the configuration of the Microsoft Wide Area Network, W1 router, which led to incorrect routing of network traffic. This caused disruptions across multiple Microsoft 365 services, including Outlook, Teams, OneDrive for Business, Exchange Online, and SharePoint. In addition to the W1 router issue, there was a reported secondary problem linked to the security software CrowdStrike's Falcon Sensor, which contributed to Blue Screen of Death, BSOD errors on many Windows devices. This compounded the impact of the outage, affecting various sectors globally, such as airlines, banks, and emergency services. Airports experienced a global ground stop, and emergency services like 911 operators in the U.S. faced disruptions. Microsoft responded by implementing mitigation measures, including redirecting traffic and repairing Azure servers. They have been updating users through their service health channels and social media. CrowdStrike also acknowledged the issue and is working on a fix for the Falcon sensor problem. This incident highlights the interconnectedness of global IT infrastructure and the significant consequences of a single misconfiguration, underscoring the need for robust and thoroughly tested updates and configurations in critical systems. Now, this is insane. World spread technology outage disrupt flights, banks, media outlets, and companies all around the world. What's going to happen next? So people can travel or fly because of this incident right here. People can go in the bank and withdraw money from their bank accounts because of this right here. AI is taking over everything. Said the outage or the glitch took place in Australia, but now it's traveling all over the world. So I guess the outage is now going viral. I'm not saying we're going to be in some three days of darkness, but I want people to understand how powerful artificial intelligence really is. We really depend on artificial intelligence for everything. When I was young, I would watch this movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger called The Terminator. And for some reason, that movie seemed like it's manifesting because they said Skynet will relink and take over everything in 2024. Well, it's 2024 and Skynet was artificial intelligence. It seems like we're living in a Terminator movie. The outage and the glitch started with Microsoft. You do know Microsoft created Windows. Do you know why they call it Windows? Because our eyes are the windows to our soul. Do you know why they have four parts right here? Let me explain something spiritually to the people. When we first came to this planet, we only had one path, one way of doing things, and that was righteous. 
when the enemy came here, it gave us two ways of seeing things, which is duality. Now, Windows is using these four parts because now we're going to have a choice to pick from. It's either God, the devil, spirituality, or artificial intelligence. This is what's happening right now. First Trump, then Biden with the COVID. Now, internet global outage. And people are still on here looking for girls shaking their ass or whatever, or somebody to make you laugh with a comedy or a dog walking up and down the damn street. And people, the least interested posts on here are the ones that's trying to prepare the people for what's about to come. It's sad to me because when it does come, people going to be jumping on here trying to find out, okay, what do we do? Too late for you. You wanted to go out and party and do all these things that really didn't have a bearing on what's going on today. Been preaching about prices too high, government against us. They try. Good morning, my people. Go and get you some gasoline and some cash so you can have cash on hand. Due to Microsoft having an issue on yesterday, there are several issues with computers, um, 911. The gas stations are not accepting anything but cash, so you will not be able to use your debit card or credit cards. So go and get you some gasoline and go and get you some cash because you know once people start recognizing it, we go into a panic state. So I'm warning you now. Um, several people are having computer issues and cell phone issues. So before it hits your area, I'm giving y'all the warning now. Go get some cash. It's already hit South Carolina. All right. Have a good day. We're seeing that now these things are coming full circle. We're seeing that we're here in the middle of a constantly warning you left and right. Warning before destruction. And one thing about the Lord is pouring out his spirit on all flesh. We're seeing that people are prophesying, having visions and dreams, you know, of what, what's to come. You know, all this hell and destruction is right before you know jacob's trouble the hour of temptation so now we'll start today's lesson we'll start here in um first thessalonians uh first thessalonians chapter five first thessalonians chapter five and verse one first thessalonians chapter five and verse one one moment <clears throat> And it reads, it says, uh, said, but of the times and the season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. And the one about it, the true believers, you know, said we foresee the evil. And one thing about we seeing all the things that's coming, uh, uh, it's lining up just like clockwork with the uh, with the script, you know. At the end, they shall speak and not lie. We know perfectly well, you know, that you know that all this uh, tribulation is 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 fast approaching. You know, we knowing that, you know, that the Lord is fast approach. A lot of things has come. Let's read this once again. It said, but the times and the season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Because we know perfectly well that we're living in the end time, real time. So let's read in NLT. It said, now concerning, said, how and when all this will happen. It said, dear brothers and sisters, we don't really need to write, uh, uh, write, uh, Right, you, so like it. And one thing about it, we already know what time that we live in. We rejoice. We say DTA, a bob, a bob. We ready for the, the Lord to come and destroy this place. Well, we already know that, that the destruction of America is the what? It's the beginning of our kingdom that dwells in righteousness, the kingdom of heaven. Man, we cannot wait. Uh, verse 2, it said, For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So one thing about the Lord said, I will come like a thief in the night. Behold, I come quickly. So the Lord is going to show up when people is not unaware, when people are, are constantly doing all sorts of, of wickedness, all sorts of abomination, things that is displeasing to Yahweh. So the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. The Lord is going to make a speedy witness of this place. So let's read in uh, the NLC said, said, for you know quite well that the day of the Lord return will come unexpectedly like a thief in the night. So people are not going to be aware. People are not watching. People are not being circumspect. They're not redeeming the time wisely, going on with their daily life, constantly walking in great pride and great misery is getting ready to befall them. The great day of the Lord is fast approaching. Verse three said, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them 
as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So, hey, but when this time of trouble comes, you you have grown as men, you know, weeping and crying, just like a woman. You know what I'm saying? A very afraid, very effeminate. And one thing about it, if you're not part of the elect, you will be told to destroy. So we already know that the world to come is for a few. The world right now is for many. And one thing about it, that you know, the Lord's getting ready to destroy this place. You know what I'm saying? And we are constantly warning, but a lot of people still think that this is a game. You know, but when the Lord returns, there will be no more talking. Verse uh, three in the NLT, it said, "When people are saying everything is peaceful and secure, then disaster will fall on them as suddenly as a pregnant woman." Uh, labor pains begin and there will be no escape so we at the beginning of sorrow the birth pain they're gonna constantly increase till all hell break loose a time of trouble that we have never seen before so now let's go here to isaiah chapter 30 because a lot of people are gonna lean and depend they're trusting in this system they trust in this technology they trust it in their money their resources you know so i have this i have that i have a doomsday bunker i have uh, this and that, you know, I'm, I'm good. Ain't no one good. If you're not a part of the elect, you are in for a rude awakening. Let's go here to uh, Isaiah chapter 30. We'll start up at the top at verse one. And it reads, woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord that take counsel, but not of me and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin. So that's what they're doing right now. You know, a lot of people right now, you know, uh, uh, of this world, you know, they're kindly minded. We already know being kindly minded will lead to death. And also they love this world. If you love, if you love this place, you get ready to die here. We constantly warning you left and right. And we see it right now that a lot of people right now, you know, uh, uh, are very, uh, prideful, very covenants, you know, very, uh, uh, they're unbelievers, you know, and also they're haters of Yahweh, Baal Shem, and also the prophets. So we see it right now. That's what is going on. You know, they have uh, the, the, the covering of this world, you know, worldly. And one thing about it, you know, it's, it's sin upon sin, very wicked, and they will be told to destroy. Let's read it in the NLT. It said, What sorrows await my rebellious children, says the Lord. You make plans that are contrary to, to mine. You make uh, alliance not uh, directed by my spirit, thus piling up your sins. <laughs> man, one thing about it, hey, you, you, uh, man, everyone is, you know, is going to be judged according to their works. And one thing about it, you know, if your works, you know, is, is wickedness, you know, you already know it, you shall reap what you sow. You know, so let's go here. Verse two, it said, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not acts at my mouth, the prophets, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. So a lot of people are going to trust in this system. So right now, a lot of people are using, you know, they're depending and they're trusting in this uh, this system, this uh uh, uh, technology, you know, like you know, a lot of people, you know, uh, you know, it's very convenient for them to catch a flight, you know, and get in a, a get into another city, you know, within hours, you know, say it won't take days. So, you know, all this technology really have uh, made our people very docile, you know, spoil, you know, keep them uh, in a docile state. And also a lot of people, you know, like the very convenient to them to go to their favorite restaurant, get this and that. They're going to trust in this system. Also, they're going to trust in this new digital society that they're fast approach. They're going to trust in these digital IDs. They're going to trust in this biometric. They're going to trust in that grain of rice and it shall be they what confusion, you know, and also we already know in Egypt is uh, is hand in hand with the house of bondage. So we know we, that we're in the land of our captivity. The Lord is getting ready to come from from the east to the west and, and deliver us with great glory and great power. But one thing about it, and the modern day Pharaoh is what the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks. So let's read this once again. It says verse uh, Isaiah chapter 30 and verse two said uh, that walk to go down into Egypt and has not acts at my mouth the prophets to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, the so-called white man, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And now they trust in it, they're gonna trust in this system. You know what I'm saying? We all all we also know that they, they are getting ready to transition into a digital society, a digital program, but also implantable society. We constantly want you to have a castle society. So we're seeing it right now, you know, a lot of people right now 
uh, thing that they have 401k retirement plan. Uh, they, they have plenty, you know, they have great home, great wealth, but guess what? This place is getting ready to be a third world country. The Lord's getting ready to break the staff of the, of the bread, your necessity, your way of life. It's getting ready to change, uh, in a blink of the eye. You know, and one thing about it, when they say peace and safety, then total destruction will come upon. So a lot of people are trusting, uh, in this fallen, uh, this broken reed, this government, you know, they're trusting in, uh, the president, everything that has to offer, you know, these uh, government uh, assistance, these uh, uh, all sorts of uh, things that they're uh, thinking that uh, it will be okay. But one thing about it, we already knowing that if the Lord is not on your side, you will be totally destroyed. Verse 3 said, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. So that's, hey, it's getting ready to happen a lot of people gonna be what disgraced that's reading the nlt said but by trusting pharaoh the so-called white man the devil that the bible speaks of you will be humili humili humiliated humiliated so and by depending on him you will be disgraced and one thing about it, you have to suffer that second death the lake of fire because one thing about it, a lot of people are going to try to save their life but they're going to lose their life like what happened today a lot of people was complaining you know you know i went i'm gonna get home you know i'm here i'm 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 stuck here i don't have any food i can't buy anything i can't purchase anything you, it's about to get real and also wait till you see these uh these uh un truth these sleeper cell come in here they gonna not they gonna come here not sparing none this place has been getting ready to be totally destroyed so now let's go here to zephaniah but this is where we at a great economic uh collapse a crashing in the hill so it could this be the the, the beginning of the, the crashing in the hill zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 10 zephaniah chapter 1 we we'll start up at verse 10 <clears throat> one moment and it reads that and it shall come to pass in that day says the lord that there shall be uh the noise of a cry from the fish gate and a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hill so we already know what happened back in uh 1929 i think to uh 1932 you know the great depression you know so we already know that you know it's going to be worse than the great depression also we had another recession i think it was in uh 08 or 09 it's going to be far greater than that it's going to be far greater than slavery so it's going to be a time of trouble that we have never seen before that great crash in the hill going into a great economic collapse or a stock market crash so we are uh, at the door we already know that the petrol dollar the fiat currency is almost done we already know about uh about these uh uh, about uh, 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 these Arabs, you know, they they did they did not um, they did not uh, they ended the petrol agreement. So we already know that's a uh, uh, a blow to the uh, to the U.S. dollar. And also, we know that uh, the brick the brick nation is constantly what dumping the dollar, de dollarization. So we read at that crashing of the hill. So we already know once that happens, it's gonna cause all sorts of disorder, all sorts of confusion, sedition among men, uh civil unrest, civil war, you know what I'm saying? Kill a be kill, Egyptian against Egypt, city against city. So it says here, it says, how ye inhabitants um of Mectos for all the inhabitants uh uh for all the merchants people are cut down all they that are uh, bare silver are cut off so this is talking about an ancient uh an ancient uh, uh uh stock market back in the ancient time that was cut off so we already know that there's no new thing under the sun you know this buying and selling you get, they're getting ready to do a thing a whole nother way if you're not going to be a participant if you're not going to take it under the skin you will be totally cut off let's read it uh nlt he said he said well in in sorrow all you who live in in the market area for all the merchants and traders will be destroyed so that's what's getting ready to happen you know the, this stock market uh this, this this dollar all this is getting ready to be crashed it's getting ready to be worthless it's getting ready to be obsolete we're coming upon this time people couldn't go to the atm they couldn't get money uh they couldn't go to uh certain restaurants that the computers were down you know so the software was down so hey well this by design what well, this manufacturer it's all through the spirit of power yahweh by shimei was shy Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 12 it said it said, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled in their leagues that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. So that's, you know, it's the state of mind of our people right now. Oh, the Lord is not coming. That's not going to happen. This ain't going to happen. But the Lord's constantly searching 
uh, Jerusalem with candles. You know, the Lord is getting ready to what? To uh, excommunicate these two thirds. You know, judgment is getting ready to flow just like a river. You know what I'm saying? Also, you know, the body count is getting ready to be great. And we are constantly warning you, left and right, it is here, it is at Dover. A lot of people think that they're a good case, relaxing in their leaves, going on with their daily life, and all hell is getting ready to break loose. Verse uh, 13, it said, Therefore, their good shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. And they shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink of the wine thereof. So one thing about it, we already know that this place is constantly what drying up. We already know that the, the economy is failing. We see that the jobs, you know, are constantly are uh, uh, it's constantly failing. You know, unemployment is constantly shooting up. You know, these they're constantly uh, uh, people are, are losing their jobs. Uh, these uh, major companies are constantly what closing down. You know, people. You know, everything is constantly what slowing down. You know, we're seeing that the economy is constantly declining. The infrastructure. You know, the financial system. All these things are getting ready to be a thing of the past. The ports, the export, the import. All these things are getting ready to come to a abrupt. In, you know what I'm saying? The Lord's get ready to bring it to a close. We're seeing it right before our eye. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are going to have a strong vaccination of spirit. Verse 14 said, The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasten greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty men shall cry their bitterly. So that's getting ready to happen, man. A lot of people are going to be doing a lot of crying and, will, and, and, and weeping. You know what I'm saying? Travelling like a woman with child. And the, and the day of the Lord is fast approaching. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. Verse 15 said that, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, and a day of clouds and thick darkness. So the Lord's going to return in the midst of World War Three. We already know that it has begun. We see all these nations are constantly coming in alliance against uh, America, Babylon, the Great. We also we know that Russia will be a god to these nations, and, and, and it said that the Lord would uh, come in a day of desolation, darkness, and gloominess because of what all these uh, IBCM missiles is going to going to be uh, shot throughout the air. The Lord's going to come in the midst of all that uh, radioactivity, all that the, the clouds and the destruction, the smoke. The Lord's going to return right in the midst of World War Three, and He is going to. Uh, 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 shut everything down. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is going to end this nightmare and we cannot wait. The great day of the Lord is fast approaching. Verse 16 says, A day of the trumpets and alarm against the fence city and against the high towers. Verse uh, 17 said, And I will bring distress upon men that they will walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. So one thing about it, we're seeing right now, you know, a lot of people going to be in great distress. A lot of men's going to be walking like blind men out of their damn mind. They're going to be a great fear going to fall upon them. You know, they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. You know, when your fears come, when your d desolation come, we told you so. And one thing about it, you still thinking that men of the law is crazy, but you're getting ready to find out who is crazy. You was crazy all the time. And one thing about it, it ain't going to be no hoping and wishing that you could have came to the Lord, you know, and one thing about the Lord is going to judge you according to your sin, whether it's good or bad. So that day is coming. Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation. Uh, verse 18 said, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make a even a speedy witness of all them that dwell in the land. So one thing about it, in one hour thy judgment comes. So we already know about Revelation chapter 18. The Lord is going to make a speedy witness of this place. And the fire, his jealousy, are those uh, IBCM missiles that laser and terrify. The Lord is going to destroy this place. And also your your gold and your silver, this fiat currency, this paper money is going to be worthless. They shall throw their silver and gold in the street because it's going to be worthless. And people are going to be what going back to the borrowing system, you know, trading this for that. You know, I have a loaf of bread for 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 a drink of water, or I have this for some clothing or for some shoes. You know, and also they're gonna be trading these women. You know, and one thing about the Lord's gonna bring that judgment upon Eve like she had never seen before. Eve is getting ready to get her mind right in Jacob's trouble. So this is just the beginning to what's to come. You know, more to come through much tribulation. 
ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. And one thing about it, hey, these things are about to get real. And one thing about it, the door of repentance is closing. And the Lord, one thing about it is that, you know, he stretches out his hand for the last and final time before he brings forth massive judgment. Judgment is now at hand. So now, let's go here to, uh, to uh, uh, Ezekiel. Let's go here to Ezekiel. And also, we you know, Revelation chapter 13 is popping off the pages right now. You will not be able to buy or sell. He causes all... Uh, uh, small, great, rich, and poor to receive a what? Karagma. Hey, as it is fast approaching, it's at the door. Uh, let's see here. And we already knowing that you know this devil is getting ready to what to come down with great wrath. Let's read this here. Ezekiel chapter twelve and verse two says, "Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house to this day. You know, as of the days of the Noah." As of the days of right now, there's no new, new thing under the sun. One thing about it, they're seeing what's going on. They hear what's going on. But one thing about it, they're constantly going on with their day like, oh, that's just not going to happen. It's just a rough patch. It will pass. Everything will be fine. The Lord love everyone. Everyone can be saved. You're in for a rude away and you're getting ready to die. So let, let's read in the NLT. It says, son of man, you live among rebels who have eyes eyes but refuse to see they have ears but refuse to hear for they are a rebellious people the two-third the, the wicked negroes the wicked latinos the wicked native indians i'm talking to you and one thing about it you're running out of time and one thing about the lord gonna start with his own house first and then out today he's going through these wicked ass heathen starting with esau edom the lord is getting ready to set the record straight in the middle of the lord we're constantly warning the writing is on the wall the, the war drums are beating you know we already know the second woe has passed but the third woe come quickly what world war three the last and final war right before what the great and glorious return of yahweh baashim abishai people are seeing People are here, but one thing about it, showing no regard. You know what I'm saying? They're constantly what? Despising the words of Yahweh. Oh, that's not going to, I don't want to hear that. But one thing about it, when that time of trouble comes, you're going to have great fear, vexation of spirit. You're going to be bugged out of your damn mind. And one thing about it, hey, the body count is getting ready to be great. And that lake of fire is waiting for you, the second death. And what will be the lake of fire? America, Babylon, the great. So now, let's go here. The Lord is, is going to give these wicked Negroes, these re, this rebellious house that did not want to return to them, a strong delusion. The Lord shall choose your uh, uh, calamity, your destruction. Uh, right here, the Lord's getting ready to have fun. Uh, Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 4. It said, said, I also will choose their delusion and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but did they did evil before my eyes and to that in which I delighted not. So that's what the, the two thirds are doing right now. You know, the, you know, hey, the Lord is it's constantly, you know, right now, it's it, the opportunity is now. You know, the men of the Lord constantly making these video pistols in the highways and byways, but we already know that the doors are closing. The Lord's getting ready to bring the famine of the word. What are you going to do when you don't have any food to eat? When you don't have any clothes? When the UN troops coming in? When you go to these uh, FEMA camp, these uh, guilty, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are going to what? Trust in the strength of this system, this government, you know what I'm saying? This technology, you know what I'm saying? And they will be totally destroyed. And one thing about it, a lot of people are going to try to save their life, but they're going to lose their life. The Lord is going to give them a strong delusion. So let's read it. In the uh, NLT, it said, I will send them great troubles. All the things they fear uh, for when I called, they did not answer. When I spoke, they did not listen. They uh, deliber deliberately sinned before my very eyes and chose to do uh, what they know I a despise. So that's what they're doing right now. You know, they don't fear the Lord. You know, they don't love the Lord. But one thing about it, they're going to be crying and weeping. Yeah, how about you if y'all were child? You can know the name. But one thing about it, you're not part of the elect. You're going to die. We're constantly warning you left and right. And a lot of people, you know, they, they hate uh, the prophet, you know, they saying that they're crazy. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear that. But one thing about it, you ain't, you, you, you're you not going to stop what's coming. And one thing about it, you know, is that our salvation and also the great and glorious return of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, also what? Uh, immortality, rulership, spiritual power. You're not ready to rule. You're getting ready to die. If you're not getting beamed up, 
you're getting burnt up. Also, if you love it here, you're getting ready to die here. Hey, it's plain and simple. The Lord is getting ready to make it plain upon death. If you're not seeking the Lord, then you are seeking death. It's plain and simple through the spirit of power. Yahweh by Shemel So the Lord is getting ready to do a, a whole lot of unaliving. Let's go here uh, to, uh, to our last and final script. Let's go here to Ezekiel. We close out here. Ezekiel chapter 33. That's just where we're at in that day. Ezekiel chapter 33, and we'll scroll down to verse 33 one moment. And, and just like I said, you know, we're seeing that these things are constantly picking up, escalate, you know, things one behind another, man. You know, this, the Lord is constantly what shorten the day for what? The elixir. We're seeing it happening right before, I, but we're living in some exact, exciting time, and we knowing that the Lord is, is right at the door. You know, so the Lord eyes is upon the, what the sin for kingdom, and he get ready to destroy this place. Uh Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 33. Let's highlight this right quick. Let's highlight this right quick. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 33. Said, and I said, and when this comes to pass, what these prophecies, the signs of the time said, lo, it will come. It's coming. You know what I'm saying? And it's not tearing. Said, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. You know, the one that you are scoffing in mock, the one that you come to despising, the one that you want to kill, the one that you uh, want to get uh, put in uh, a facility. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about it, they, you know, oh, they're teaching hate speech. They don't know what they're talking about. They're conspiracy theory, you know, and so on and so on. You know, and one thing about it, we already know that, you know, a lot of our people are getting ready to, uh, Get ready to be uh, 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 turning into total demons. You know, they get ready to show enough, amp it up against the men of the Lord. That's why the Lord said, uh, uh, your greatest enemy shall be your family members. So one thing about it, if they're not in this truth, uh, uh, not in the, uh, a part of this wisdom and knowledge, you know, you you should not have anything to do with them. And one thing about it, the Lord is causing a great uh, separation. We're seeing it happening right before I, uh, Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 33 said, said but when all these terrible things happen uh to them as they uh certainly will then they will know a prophet has been among them so that's plain and simple so they get ready to find out you know in that day you know you know we get ready to be tried as gold is tried in the fire to go through these levels of adversity that straight game and also you know said that they would know that who are his chosen you know because the lord is going to protect us the lord is going to sustain us the lord will deliver us so we seeing right here this global internet outage you know we seeing it you know you know that happened throughout the world was this a test run or is this the real thing it's staying Things are constantly happening left and right. We already know that this devil is getting ready to move because he's seeing that his days are determined. And one thing about it, we're in that transition of power. We're seeing it playing out real time right before our eye. And one thing about it, he may, it's time to gird up your lawn. It's time to examine yourself. And one thing about it, the Lord is getting ready to return. He's getting ready to set that righteous order back into play as it is in heaven. So shall it be uh, on earth. You know what I'm saying? The kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So the title of the day lesson, once again, it's Watchman Report, Global Internet Outage and News. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha Kwadash. I'd like to say Shalom, Shalom.